What's up beautiful people? Today video we got another banger. It's when women re uh, regret rejecting men. So I'm going to check this out. I want to see what this is all about because it sounds very very interesting. So with further ado, man, let's check this out. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, this one's for the single guys. I want your opinion on something. I want to hear your honest thoughts about dating a single mom. I'm asking because mm. one of the guys I dated after my divorce said something and those words have stuck with me. Mm. He told me, you have three kids. Ooh. No one is going to want to take you on. And let me tell you, no matter how awesome you are, Ooh. those words stick. But I want to know, what do you really think about that? Does their age matter? Younger, older? I mean, it's not like I can change that. We're kind of a package deal. You should have listened to that man and taken his advice because the majority of men would not take a woman with kids seriously. And your biological time isn't in your favor either. Your clock is ticking. Mm -hmm. Why do men think it is flattering to women over 40 to act shocked, shocked when they find out how old we are? Listen, buddy, Gee. that does not make me feel youthful. That makes me feel like you're worried I'm going to break a damn hip. I'm sure that in five years time, this might <laughs> change when she start desperately looking for a man because as jordan peterson said it start to get very lonely when you reach your late 40s i don't know i might be wrong because i see a lot of men are adapting to this kind of lifestyle some men would rather be alone and do whatever they want and not get involved in a relationship that would bring them just headache problems and if things go south with that woman she will initiate a divorce and take half the things that man worked for and keep the house and i that is true that is true um you know, I found peace by myself. You know, you got to be able to find peace by yourself. Um, I found that and I found like it's actually, you know, refreshing to have something like that. I can't blame those men, to be honest, because the law favors the women. They don't care about the men. So my ex-husband came over here yesterday or a few days ago to bring something for the kids and we were leaving my house at the same time and he was driving behind my car and he calls me and he's like, oh, you have a tail light out. I was like, oh my God, I need a man. He was like, don't say that. You don't need a man. Don't say that. Yet. The F I don't. Coming from a man that put me in a situation that caused me to have to be independent and be such a strong black woman and I can do it myself type of person. Not coming from the person that forced me to be in that situation. No, I am no longer available for masculine en energy. You understand? I'm tapping into all my feminine energy. No, I can't open this bottle of pickles. No, I cannot put gas in my car. No, I cannot kill that spider in the corner. I need a man. I need a man for all of that. Okay? I need a mm. man. You understand? I need a man I can submit to. I, can, I need a man I can be vulnerable with. I need a man who I can, <laughs> I can cry on. Ooh. Okay? I need a man with good communication. I need all of that. I need a man. But it's... But come on. You can't say that because now nah, what you should keep the same energy. Honestly, you really should keep the same energy because all of that I'm strong and pending, I'm black woman, I'm this, you know. You know, keep that same energy. Honestly, do keep the same energy because it's the fact of the matter is it's just it's just that's a toxic energy too. There's such things as toxic masculinity, but there's also a traits of toxic femininity, you know. So I'm not even going to say anything on that aspect because it could be both sides. You know, there could be the extreme. There could be on both sides. There is extreme on both sides. So keep the same energy, really. You know, you lean towards there. I know people can learn and grow and learn from it. But sometimes, you know, like you, you might say it, but still, when that man comes, you might push back and fight back. So I don't know. That's my thing. F that. I, yes, I can do it all by myself, but no, I cannot. I need a man. Thank you. You see, this is the thing. Women can say that they're independent and they can do it all by themselves. Yep. Deep down, they know that they don't want to do the men's job because yep. it's human nature. Women yep. are good at certain things and men are good at other certain things. Men and women can play each other. But even yep. though this is human nature, society in this day and age tells women that it is wrong to think like that or act like that. Okay, this Thanks. one's going to be a little bit of a downer. Sorry. Mm. But... People in relationships need to stop telling single people to enjoy this time while they're single. Mm -hmm. Date yourself. Mm -hmm. I've been 
dating myself now. First six years. Almost Ooh. seven. Oh. I have fun by myself. I know it makes me happy. I like to go get my nails done. I like to go shopping. I like to go hiking by myself. Like the reality. I crap by myself. But like at the end of the day, I would love more than anything to come home to somebody. No. Oh. Just lay in the bed with them and watch a show. Oh. <laughs> have somebody I could depend on someone who's not gonna cheat on me oh man this is just sad to watch because the yes realizes that she has fallen for that trap that society and those feminists say to women that's why yep. I think that anyone should do what works best for him or her listen yep. to someone's advice but you gotta take that advice analyze it and see if it works for you that's how I see it personally even if it's me true, if I'm true. giving you some advice about something you gotta see if it works for you because yes. I'm still learning just like you I am yes I know it all type of dude. I there think you go. that's just being ignorant. That's why what works for me might work or not work for you. That's just me personally. I would not love to hear your true. thoughts in the comment section. No, that's I'm true. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed because I have been single for four years. Mm. Off and on. And not one of my friends has ever been like, oh, I have a friend for you. Oh, I have a neighbor that would be good for you. Oh, I have a son. I have a coworker. No one has ever recommended anyone to me. Uh, I wonder well, why. Yeah, oh. I wonder why. To recommend someone for you when they didn't even find someone themselves. Stop yeah. making excuses and go out and shoot your shot. There are right? good guys out there. I just find it hard to believe that no one is interested in you. Maybe your standards are very high. That's why you can find a man. I don't yes. know. But most yes. of these modern women have ridiculous standards and requirements that they want in a man. At first. You know how crazy that is? You know, you know how crazy that is? Um, especially the fact of the matter, like, for me, why right now I'm 26, but, like, when my early 20s and stuff, the, uh, the ridiculous, even when I was in, in high school, it was like, oh, I'm dating, um, you know, girls my age, is like, oh, I'm dating him, he's in college, because I want that high older man. But the people in college, you know, Guys in college can't date anybody like their age because those girls are looking for the older guys also. Looking for guys who are like careers already, um, established career, you know, they have their own thing going for them. You know, they already have some of their money, but still in their twenties. Like, cool, cool, cool. Do your thing. Then it's then it's like the standards is so high, you know, it's so high. I want a man that has a nice car, you know, you drive this, you drive this kind of model, you dress this type of way, you wear this design the clothes, you wear this design of shoes. I'll tell you what, something, right? I own zero pairs of Jordan, zero pairs of e Yeezys, you know, like, for me, it's like, if I can find the shoes that fit and makes me look good, I'll wear that shoes. You know, but like the, I'm not going to live by society standards. Rather, I'll live by my standard, what I like. You know, if at the end of the day, like if somebody approach me, somebody approach me, somebody don't approach me, somebody don't approach me. It's just the way I see things in life. You know, you probably should not be trying to do more than you are capable of or financially what you are. So just for a woman. Do not do that because at the end of the day, you're going to go broke. That's just an, a good advice. First, I was like, I'm going to be single forever as a joke. But bro, I don't think it's a joke anymore. You're right. Oh, sir. boy. It is my fault because as soon as I have to start telling a man how to treat me, I am out. I would much rather be alone than deal with some half ass shit from a man. Hmm. You. Yes. Did you hear this shit, guys? This yes. is the same shit that's coming from the same woman that I'm about to show you right now. Take a look at this clip. So here I am again after another failed talking stage. I wonder why that happened. Can you guess guys, why that happened? I want to hear your thoughts about this woman in the comment section. Because you know what I would say to this. Men are not telepathic. You have a mouth lady. Communicate yes. with it. Men yes. are not guessing. That's just yes. crazy. You yes. failed the sanity test. Just like we failed the guessing test. This shit is crazy but hilarious at the same time. See yep. you guys next time.
it's just crazy how delusional some of these people are you know reality you gotta wake up to reality <laughs> it's matter of and naruto but yeah no dude it's just crazy but i'll see you guys later man peace